Hi guys, it's Lexi from Pretty and Fresh. And today I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about um, nutrition and the foods I eat on a daily basis. I've had a few questions about what an average day looks like in terms of meals. Um, I think people see a lot of my healthy Instagram pictures and yes, I enjoy those foods a lot and I love eating healthy and um, a lot of the times I think they look pretty and I want to take pictures of them. Um, but I also kind of want to preface this by saying uh, what you see on social media isn't necessarily a reflection of the real you. Uh, I think you guys know that. but. Um, I do try to eat healthy and I do enjoy it, but at the same time, uh, I, I stray and I sometimes indulge like anyone does and that's okay. But, um, I guess to take you through what I would eat on a typical day, it, it kind of varies, but during the work week, I would say there's definitely more of a pattern and structure, um, and I'm better about planning out what I'm gonna eat a little bit more. Uh, sometimes I'll make dinners uh, the night before and make enough for lunch the next day. Um, so that's that's good. I need to get better about meal preparation. So maybe Sunday nights, Sunday um, afternoons, I can kind of focus on that a little bit more, hopefully in the future. Um, but as of right now, I would say in the morning, for breakfast, I tend to either eat uh, granola, not, well, I guess I used to eat granola. I don't really that much, but I was going through a phase with um, this paleo granola that was really good with some fruit. Um, I think today though, on a regular basis, oatmeal. I, I love oatmeal. Um, but when I was doing the paleo challenge for a little bit, you couldn't eat that, so I was deprived. Um, that's why I'm not doing the paleo challenge anymore, though. Um, anyway, oatmeal. I love oatmeal with some almond milk, so heat it up, and then uh, I love to put some walnuts or mixed nuts in the mix there. And uh, I also like Greek yogurt with some chopped up berries um, or any kind of fruit, um, maybe a little bit of honey, uh, depending on my mood. But yeah, definitely an oatmeal kick as of recent. Um, for lunch, it really it really varies. It can be kind of random. Uh, but I really like the sushi from Whole Foods. I love the quinoa one or the brown rice ones. Um, my favorite, I would say, is the, the tuna avocado with the quinoa. That's my definitely my favorite. Um, and I've also been known to buy those roasted chickens. Those things that come in the big one, the full roasted chicken, and kind of attack that for lunch. Uh, that's good, and it's also awkward when people walk by you in Whole Foods and they see you eating it at a table. Uh, should probably do that in private. Anyway, uh, I like salad for lunch sometimes, sometimes a turkey sandwich. Uh, it really depends. It kind of depends on my mood and uh, how much time I have that day to eat lunch and also if I've prepared for it the night before or not. In terms of dinner, I love sweet potatoes. Uh, one of my favorite things to do is chop sweet potatoes up into thin pieces and then put them in the oven so they're like nice and crispy, almost like a sweet potato fry. Um, those are delicious uh, for a side. Uh, for the main meal, I, I like a, a meat a lot of the time, uh, usually chicken, Steak, I also really like salmon, so fish. Um, depends. Uh, I'm also crazy about asparagus. I love asparagus. And kale chips. I really like kale chips. Those are really yummy for side and a snack. Um, kind of, it kind of varies. And a lot of the times um, I will just make the dinner, like I said, and save some for the next day so I can have it for lunch, which makes it really easy. Uh, sometimes I go out to dinner though, and that's okay too. Um, I know people have like a hard time and think they're not eating healthy if they go out to dinner, and that can be true, but there are also some really healthy options at restaurants um, nowadays, and you can also ask them to prepare it how you're comfortable eating it, which is, you might think it's annoying, but 
they're used to it and ultimately um, you gotta do what's best for you. So that being said, um, I really, I really like to indulge too. I, I love uh, mac and cheese fritters from local 149. Those are amazing. Um, and I eat those every couple of weeks, I would say. Um, I don't think that a mac and cheese fritter or something like that is gonna kill you, hopefully not. But you gotta enjoy life, you know? It's, it's crazy to just uh, be so rigid and hard on yourself. Like, yes, eat healthy, try to do the best you can, but at the same time, enjoy. Um, I think that's really important not to get too caught up and obsessive about eating. Um, it's hard, but just relax. Do what your body feels. If you're craving something, eat it. And also there's a lot of healthy options for some unhealthy things you're craving. So that's great. Um, oh, and snacks. I, I'm a huge snacker. I don't just eat three meals a day. I like to um, have some kind of food like every couple hours. So snacks are like, I like Greek yogurt. Um, so if I don't have it for breakfast, maybe later in the day as a snack. I really like Kit's organic bars. Those are paleo. I'm not on the paleo diet, but nice to know. Um, I also, oh, I love, um, my, my new favorite thing is, uh, Stacy's Juice Bar. Their smoothies are amazing, just from whole fresh ingredients. Very delicious. And, um, this is, this could be a snack, but it's also a breakfast, um, idea. The egg muffins, I have the recipe on my blog, but, um, those are great for in the morning, just throw them in the microwave, uh, heat them up and instant breakfast or a snack. Um, love fruit for a snack, especially if I'm craving something sweet. Usually I'm more of a salty person, but on the occasion that I do crave something sweet, um, that's great. And uh, oh, Justin's, uh, <laughs> I love Justin's almond butter. It's so good. Um, yeah. I. I really don't, I tend to eat like a, like similarly on a daily basis during the week, but um, kind of whatever I'm in the mood for, whatever I'm craving. Um, on the weekends, it's definitely not as structured and scheduled, so it kind of depends what I'm doing that day and um, yeah, who I'm with and what, what our plans are, but um, a lot of the time I'll eat a later breakfast, I'll go to brunch and things like that. But I, I try to be as healthy as I can, but I guess, I guess what I'm trying to say is I'm not completely eating only vegetables like all day, every day. I, I definitely try as hard as I can to put in good and healthy ingredients um, into my body. That's really important. And I think that's something that I, I really came to learn on doing the paleo challenge was really getting, um, making sure to read the ingredient list on foods. Um, a lot of the times you think something's healthy and you'll eat it just thinking, yeah, it's a healthy food. But if you really look at the ingredient list and see things like, um, modified, uh, cornstarch or high fructose corn syrup, things like that, they sneak those into <laughs> things that you might think are healthy. So read the ingredient list, see, um, you want to look for something that has a smaller ingredient list and in foods that you know. Um, that's something that I definitely think is important to do and um, something to just be aware of and otherwise enjoy. You know, this is your your one and only life. You gotta gotta live it to the fullest. Um, eat that piece of cake when when it's offered to you or have a bite. Try it. Don't. Um, I. I don't know, I guess everyone's different. Just listen to your body and what you feel comfortable with and what you feel good with. But at the end of the day, just enjoy. So that's all I have to say for today, but I hope you guys have a fabulous day and I will talk to you soon. Thanks guys.